Hi guys, welcome to the seventh season of the Fairly Current Show. I'm sure you didn't know that, but Grace Chin, thank you <laughs> and welcome. Let's do a quick like, woo, going crazy for the seventh season of woo, seventh season. Seven season. <laughs> woo, woo. Okay, so Grace Chin, you are here. We are going to talk about this new project that you're kind of uh, involved in. It's called mm-hmm. Popwire. What is Popwire? Mm. So, sorry. <laughs> I'm nervous. Pop wire. Pop wire. Pop wire is a blood wire, and um, it's 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 about um, getting interesting ideas and putting it all together. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it's kind of like a news wire, but it's all based on blogs. What's Malaysian. a news? What's a news wire for people who don't entirely know? News wire. Hmm. A news wire is um, an aggregate of news items like Reuters, for example, and Bernama, which yeah, sometimes we we. Newspapers use um, news items from around the region that they can't cover, so I think they just like collect it and just like put it in like one place, like a marketplace. So, so pop wire in a way is like a, a, a Ag- aggregator, perhaps of things that are already floating in yeah. the interwebs. Mm. Right. Yeah, that's right. Right. So, what what differentiates this from a news wire? And well. What differentiates it is really the fact that the content is all produced in a very unprofessional manner. Like. <laughs> <laughs> unprofessional doesn't mean bad, but right. it's not. It's not. Pe- these people are not like real journalists. They don't go out with an agenda to record events. I see. They just record events as they happen, or views, or opinions, or photos, or. What does it know. say about the culture of journalism then? Hmm. I don't, I, I, I don't think it's so much journalism, but I think it's just really how. Um, some people feel the need to record things and in this digitized age it just becomes easier more accessible to put things or put your thoughts online as well as to search for these thoughts online yeah and, and there, are, there are quite a few bloggers out there like, like yourself mm. Mm. <laughs> <laughs> yeah right and, and, and then of course it's, it's, uh, it's a matter of uh, highlighting to people what because there are so many ways of compiling mm-hmm. I mean uh, Google has a kind of a blog, blog search a, blog search and yeah. aggregator of mm-hmm. that sort but but mm. but in this case uh, I, I think what's interesting for Popwire is the fact that uh, the Malaysian online community is really going past the is in, in 2007 it, we already hit 50% internet penetration right so that's like internet whether broadband or or dial up or whatever and uh, last year it was announced that we were at 30 percent and um this year i think they're aiming for 50 percent so what what we're seeing is really people are just getting connected and to mm-hmm. to like to, to this medium and the the potential for it for just any kind of content mm-hmm. is really really great lah yeah. so right now if you ask me how many blogs are there out there i say i wouldn't know so Okay. <laughs> so so it's just really mass, right. right? How how is how is this uh, pop wire thing? You know, surely it's it's not just you know uh, an overly uh, good Samaritan kind of feel. Mm. I mean, how what is the business model of pop wire? The business model. Oh, okay. The business model is uh, by funding. We uh, Hadish managed to get a fund from Five Arts Center. Mm-hmm. Yeah, it was the uh, Five Arts Twenty Fifth Anniversary Fund. Right. And so that's how we are funded. Okay. And yeah. and this is. How are you funded? Uh, we oh, have. I wanted to know. Yeah, our business time. model currently uh, we employ an intern. Intern, appear. Uh, hi, Bong. Uh, hi. He's Brandon, the intern. <laughs> yeah. So, so that's our business model. Oh. Our intern goes out and you know he, he does all of the looking for funds. Mm-hmm. He he does most of the you know standing around, pressing the button, that mm-hmm. kind of thing. Yeah. I see. So so none of us none of us actually have to do very Any much. Yeah. I see. Yeah. But it's nice. N- Actually, talking about uh, Malaysian culture and and uh, kind of uh, our relationship with internet, mm. recently there was something said by the uh, Honourable Datuk Sri Rais Yatim mm-hmm. yeah, about how Malaysians shouldn't be uh, using so much of things like Twitter, Facebook, and L band. <laughs> what is L band? L band is actually I did a Google search. <laughs> Some electromagnetic. Uh, spectrum is like got four right and then the whole thing is called L band. I see. Yeah. So but, but well the minister I think could have been misquoted or maybe the reporter, you know 
uh, misheard him or something mm-hmm. like that because it's very weird article mm-hmm. because at the top it says something like it was kind of like a warning about how Muslims should not use the internet so much mm-hmm. but the rest the rest of the article had no mention about didn't really specify any religion mm. so I think it could have been blown out of proportion a bit la. right although you mean by, by the choice Yatim, of headline yeah although Raya's Yatim uh, has been known to uh, be quite Personality by himself. Right. Yeah. Right. Yes. He, he, yeah. He's yeah quite an online personality. Yeah. I think I think he's quite famous in the interwebs. Yeah, but you know what? He he does have his point that you know people shouldn't spend so much time online because mm. it just sometimes really sucks you into it. Just yeah. get so lost. Yeah. Yeah. So yeah. Think, that's why you need something like Popwire to point out stuff. I see. That's interesting. Yeah. So yeah. instead of all of us trying to you know spend all day long getting all this news, actually we should leave it to someone like Grace Chin. <laughs> no. 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 Yeah. Who <laughs> spends most of your time? Well, no, just a couple of hours. Yeah, it's right. really difficult to find really interesting mm. stuff. Yeah. yeah, but l- let's just recently there was a fire in Brickfields. Yes, right? that's right. And and a lot of it was captured online mm. through people who were either nearby and it kind of. Can, can you tell us a little bit about what the interwebs? Ha- what happened? Uh, well, not not really what happened, but how citizens mm-hmm. who had the resources could capture and kind of triangulate. Mm. Well. Basically, what happened was that there was a fire somewhere at Jalan Scott in Brickfields. And I think news kind of like spread around mobile phones, Twitter, SMS. And then people just people who were at the locations verified whether, wh- whether it, was, it was in J- uh, Jalan Scott or whether it was like KL Central or it Bangsa. Mm. And so we kind of like narrowed, all the people kind of narrowed it to like one location. And whoever who was there at that time managed to... Take a take a picture and confirm and confirm and that's how I think the news report kind of like shaped itself. Right. Yeah. 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 Because uh, for example, one of the uh, major dailies that has a Twitter account mm. was constantly updating itself. You know, mm-hmm. like informing people. So maybe maybe there is function for you know stuff on the interwebs. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So well, uh, I'm sure we can look forward to a lot more pop wiring. Yes. Yeah. Yeah. And and of course, it's not just it's not just content that you kind of. Troll. No, no. Yeah. You no. also have custom made content. Well, we are trying to get contributors to uh, write in and share their thoughts on like certain events. Mm. We also are, are trying to do uh, some video stuff, mm-hmm. thematic stuff in a very fun sort of way. Mm. It's not necessarily people just going on recording things, but with uh, a purpose or with an angle of a story, okay. sort of thing. But we're still trying to roll things out at the moment, so we'll see how it goes. Awesome. <laughs> thank you so much for being on the show and thank you so much for appearing on the first season of the uh, the new season of uh-huh. the seventh season oh, of the current show. Thank you very thank much. You, thank you very much.